KP classes dedicated to excellence welcome to KP classes my name is Rukaraju in today's video we'll be discussing about sedimentology sandstone in detail so when it comes to sandstone which is an important topic for gate net and UPSC geology exams also for IIT jam and CUET PG exam of geology uh, sandstone classification is very important, textural maturity of sandstone is important, the environments in which sandstone formation happens, that's also very important. Now, let's first have an idea about the textural maturity of uh, sandstone. Textural maturity of sandstone completely depends upon three different factors, clay content, sorting and roundness of the grain. We know what is sorting and roundness means. Roundness of a grain depends upon the angularity of the grains. Uh, more the transportation, more rounded or more abraded the angular, angular sides will be. So, more transportation will cause more abrasion, more erosion and hence smoothening the angular sides of the grain. So, further more transportation, higher the transportation of the sediment, more, rediment, uh, more rounded will be the grains. In the same way, when it comes to sorting, a well sorted sample means same grain size will be present or the gradation will be poor for a well, sort, well sorted sedimentary sample. Uh, for an uh, ill sorted uh, sedimentary sample, gradation will be way higher. So, grain size, if uh, there is only sand size particle present in a sample, the sample is a well sorted sample. If there is clay, sand, silt and uh, gravel size particle are present in a sample, that is a poorly sorted sample. Now, with transportation, um, the sorting will become much more better. Ill sorted uh, sample will become better sorted or poorly, uh, poorly sorted sample will become well sorted with transportation. Same way with further transportation, clay present in the sediments uh, will be uh, keep on removed. So, when it comes to the maturity, there are these definitions like immature, submature, mature, supermature terminologies are provided for the sandstone. A supermature sandstone will be uh, well rounded, uh, well sorted and zero clay content present. Whereas, an immature sandstone is such that it is composed of uh, clay content will be there, uh, composed of grains which are angular and poorly sorted. So, in between super mature and mature, we have sub mature and uh, uh, immature and uh, sub mature, mature and super mature sandstones. When it comes to mature sandstone, the grains will not be well rounded or uh, it may not be completely uh, well sorted, but clay content will no longer present in the sample. For a submature sample, clay content will be very little. For an immature sample, uh, clay content will be way higher. So, this is about the textural maturity. So, when it comes to a texturally mature sample, they should be well rounded, well sorted and zero clay content. A texturally mature or super mature sandstone means well rounded, well sorted and zero clay content. Now, moving on to the classification of the sandstone. Uh, classification of sandstone is uh, based on two different factors. First, we classify the sandstone based on the matrix content. If matrix content is more than 15 percentage of the total, uh, okay, you, I hope you guys know when it comes to the sandstone, the particles present in the sandstone are divided into framework grain, matrix and uh, the cement present. So, uh, framework grains are the major constituents, major uh, framework grains are the rock uh, particles or quartz grains or feldspar are the major framework grains, matrix is the clay size particle that is present in the uh, sandstone. Now, if the clay size particle or the matrix content is more than 15 percentage, we call the uh, sandstone as a wacky, wacky stones, whereas matrix content is less than 15 percentage. The sandstone will be called as an arenite. Okay, so arenites are sandstones which have matrix content less than 15 percentage. Uh, Vacay is a sandstone who has a matrix content more than 15 percentage. Now, coming to the uh, framework grains, 
whether it, it is mainly composed of quartz, feldspar or rock fragment. We divide the sandstone into or arenite into further terms quartz arenite, sublithic arenite, subarcos, arcos, lithic arenite etc. So arenite is further divided into different terminologies based on the framework grains whether there is quartz, whether there is uh, feldspar, whether there is rock fragment. This is what defines the classification of arenite. In the same way, uh, vacas are also classified on the basis of uh, quartz, feldspar and rock fragment uh, framework grains. This is a very important topic in the gate or net examinations in UPC2. They will give you a detailed description of a rock, uh, a sandstone that is composed of 15 percentage of matrix, this much percentage of uh, framework grain, this much percentage of uh, <coughs> quartz uh, in uh, framework grain etc etc. From there you should understand whether you should find out whether it is an arenite or whether it is a YK. Then later we need to calculate whether it is a arcos or a quartz or arenite. When it comes to an arcos, arcos is an arenate or arcosic arenate or arcos is an arenate where uh, among the framework grain more than 25 percentage of the framework grain should be feldspar more than 25 percentage of the framework grain should be feldspar then we call the arenate as arcos if <clears throat> more than 25 percentage of the framework grain is made up of rock fragments we call them as lithic arenate more than 25 percentage of the framework grain is of a rock fragment we call them as lithic arenate when it comes to the quartz content more than 95 percentage of the framework grain is quartz the rock will be called as quartz arenate more than 90 percent 95 percentage of framework grain is made up of quartz when it comes to <coughs> sub arcos and sub lithic arenate more than 75 percentage of the rock will be made up of quartz but it will range between 5 to 25 percentage uh, 5, 5 to 25 percentage of the rock will be composed of feldspar and rest is quartz. We call it as subarcos. 5 to 25 percentage of the rock is uh, rock part, rock fragment. Rest nine, uh, 75 percentage of the rock will be uh, or 95 to 75 percentage of the rock is quartz. We call it as sublithic arenate. So I hope arenitic terminologies are clear. When it comes to the vacuum. Uh, it, there, there is no much classifications over here, only three terms, arcosic YK or feldspathic grey YK, lithic grey YK, quartz YK. Uh, when, if the framework grains are made up of feldspar or rock fragment, we call them as grey YK. So grey YK are uh, sandstones which have first of all more than 15 percentage of metric content is there and when it comes to the framework grain, more than 50 percentage of the framework grain is uh, made up of uh, uh, feldspar, we call it as feldspathic grey YK, more than 50 percentage of the grains are of uh, rock fragment, we call it as lithic grey YK, more than 90 per 95 percentage of the rock fragment is quartz, we call them as quartz YK. So I hope the terminologies are clear about YK and arenite. Another important part over here <coughs> is different environments from which you can get a grey YK or arcos or a quartz arenite when it comes to arcos they are composed of feldspar and we know feldspar is a very uh, le less resistant mineral when it when it come in contact with water it will be get converted to or altered to clay so if fels, uh, fresh feldspar preservation happens or uh, arcos deposition takes place means the climatic condition for the formation of the arcosic rock should be arid or there should be a tectonically active area in which a rapid deposition happened. So these are the two conditions where uh, are favorable for, these are the two conditions which are favorable for the formation of arcos. When it comes to the rock fragment, <coughs> uh, either the source of the uh, sediments should be composed of uh, uh, ex, uh, 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 the rocks such as basalt where the grain size is way lesser. Okay, or uh, the volcanic igneous rocks should be the source. Other reason is very less amount of transportation. Uh, quartz arenates are compositionally and texturally mature sandstones. Compositionally and texturally mature sandstone will be super mature. Sandstone is quartz arenate. If 
the matrix content will become more than 75 percentage of the rock sample it will no longer be a sandstone we'll call it as a mudstone so more details of these sections if required you can join us in our kp classes geology section where we have uh, both online offline uh, live sections live classes are happening over here there are sections for both upsc gsi paper uh, net csar and gate examinations we are uh, iit jam and cuet pg is also present over here so if you wish to join our offline online classes you can contact in the number given over here in the description box if you want a demo section you can there is a link given over here you can uh, you, you can fill the form so that we will contact you and you can attend our trial sections uh, there are recorded lectures uh, more than 500 hours of recorded lectures 2000 plus questions in the online test series so all these things are available if you wish to join us please contact us in the given number thank you